Alright, oh, alright, what's up guys, Ghost here with this time I'm talking about <clears throat> my car today. So, there's an interesting thing that happened today. So, I actually figured out the uh, adapter for my iPod port. So, if you didn't know, Infinity G35s, G whatever, up in 2009, I actually had an iPod port, which is actually right there. Ignore this over here, that's for later. Um, and what that allows you is that you get an iPod touch here, which is this guy right here. Uh, you can use this guy, plug him into there, have audio. But I have figured out a way for most people to get you get the audio from their phone, like right here on my phone. This works with Android, as well as Apple, as well as like whatever else you have. Um, I think it might even work on flip phones too, as long as Bluetooth. So first things you want, first thing you want to do is you want to start up your car. So press this right here, that's normal. Um, then you want to just keep it on this screen here. It's gonna show this on when you get it set up. So I'm actually gonna go through the process here. So one of the things I'm gonna link below is an iPod to Infinity adapter. And you will need three things for this and that's it. Um, I found that these things worked the best and they were the best priced. So you just need ice cubes in there. Um, the Infinity the iPod port that's right here is actually just a, you can find it anywhere. Most of them work pretty fine. Um, I had to order two of them because they didn't deliver the first one, but I ended up getting one that was like $20 and this is it. Um, keep in mind, it doesn't, it doesn't have power in it, so power does not come from this and go to your iPod in the 2008 G35 models, which is what I have, I have a 2008. Um, one thing to note also is you can actually get adapters like this guy here, which is actually a power adapter. So since this doesn't take in power, this guy provides power through there. Um, this is all documented in the actual device thing over here in that box, but this is the actual thing that's doing all the magic. So this is actually the Inveri, Inveri I think? It's an Inveri iPod adapter, so it basically converts your signal from your phone to the car. Um, with After 2009, they actually put USBs right there where that port is, so it doesn't have any anymore. And also, strangely enough, I have RCA jacks under there as well, which is really odd, really, really odd. Um, but with that, you can actually plug this in, and I wish I think I can show you guys this on on thing, but it's showing up the actual thing there, which is that kind of awesome there. Um, another thing is also it's better than having it on the actual RCA jacks because you can actually use the steering wheel controls, you can use the volume controls. So I can like go here, turn it up. I can like flip it down. I can't do it because I'm recording right now, but just trust me. <laughs> oh, you, I can. So you see it's playing music. I'm gonna turn that off actually. Um, cause I'm listening to my comic romance and it just plays it. I mean, it skips it. Just skips it through. So it's, it's a little glitchy on the text there, but it works. And that's all that matters for me. Um, and it's just kind of awesome because this, this, my car has the, uh, the Bose speakers. So it has, I think 12 speakers. And yeah, I'll also be making a video tomorrow about me um, doing my spark plug. So get ready for it to see for that. And I'm going to be doing a lot more car content on my car here. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it solves the problems. And also, I hope it creates creates less confusion. Um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the uh, box here for it. And I'll link everything down below. So that it's it says everything that this thing says it says from Audi, but it's not from Audi. It's actually just for any car that has iPod. <laughs> And it exclusively says in the manual here that there's a actual, like, you know, I'll go ahead and open up the manual for you guys so you can see the actual adapter that it recommends. It doesn't really matter which one you use, it's just, it just likes certain ones. Uh, mine's just an off-brand one that I found on eBay for like $9. Got here within like a week, so if I can open this up real quick. Here we go. So here's the actual thing that it says. It says to use, for Infinity Nissan, to use an cable drive dock stubs plus i don't know if they still make that but it'll, if you want to go to oem that's basically what it is but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment below and make sure to stay tuned for more content thank you